this was probably the hardest video I've ever had to make. I had to disorganize a bunch of my clothes and do all the things I teach all my styling clients against to teach you the nine closet organization tips in this video. The first tip I recommend is making sure all of your clothes are on the same hanger. You can see here I have plastic hangers, wooden hangers. I have these clear clip hangers. I also have a dry cleaning hanger. So the first thing you want to do is make sure all of your clothes are on the same hanger. Now, in reality, my hangers are all the wood hangers. I actually had to purchase these plastic hangers and use these for my styling kit and keep one of my dry cleaning hangers, which I never do. But I wanted to show you guys that all of your hangers should be the same and uniform. Now, it doesn't matter what your hangers are as long as they're uniform. Just make sure they're the same style, the same color. That will immediately elevate your closet. As you can see, I've switched them all to wood hangers, except my dry cleaning hanger, which I wanted to keep that on here to show you guys something. So dry cleaning hangers are never great to keep your clothes hanging on. They will make holes in your clothes over time because they're wire. Even if they have this little, you know, soft covering here, they're not great to keep your clothes on. Also, if you keep your clothes in dry cleaning bags, which I never keep my clothes in dry cleaning bags, again, over time, it can actually break down the fabric of your clothes, break down the fiber and create holes in your clothes. So get rid of dry cleaning hangers, get rid of dry cleaning bags. They are not good for your clothes. The next closet organization tip is to make sure all of your hangers are facing the same way and all of your clothes are facing forward. So these are easy enough. I can just turn the hanger around, but you want to make sure all of the items are facing forward, not this card again. So I'm going to flip it around, face it forward and have all the hangers facing the same way as well. Again, this is just going to make it easy to pull items out, to get dressed in the morning, as opposed to having, you know, especially if you have a lot of items squished together, which is another problem, but you want to make sure that all your hangers are facing the same way. All your clothes are facing forward. So as you can see, that little step, again, made it even more organized. Now, the next tip is you want to group your items together by sections. So you want to have all your tops in one section, your bottoms in one section, your outerwear in another section, your dresses in another section. So I'm gonna do this really quickly to show you guys, but I'm gonna get all my tops here. Let's see, so here's a top, here's a top. These are tops, but they are outerwear. This is a cardigan top, another cardigan top. Here is some tops here. And let's see, what other tops do I have? Here's a top. Here's some blazer tops and let's see, pants can go in the back. Oh, an empty hanger. You don't want empty hangers out. Put all your empty hangers in the front of your clothes or in the back, either way. But you want to be able to hang your clothes easily at the end of the day. You don't want to just throw your clothes on a bench and hope that somebody else cleans them up. Have your empty hangers in the front of your clothes or in the back so they're ready for you to hang up your items at the end of the day. All right, moving back on. All my tops in the front. Here are my dresses. And I will put my bottoms all together. So, and now from here, I'm gonna have my outer layers, which is my blazer, my leather jacket, my cardigans are all together, my tops are all together here, my dresses are all together, and my bottoms are all together. So already, again, it's looking more and more organized. Once you finish grouping each section by item, then you're going to organize each section. So here I have my tops. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to go from casual to dressy. So I'm going to get my cotton, my tanks, my t-shirts. And for purposes here, I'm just going to move this empty hanger to the back because it's in my way. But I'm going to do my casual items and then I'm going to have my dressier pieces in the back. And then what you want to do is go from short sleeve to long sleeve. So here I have a spaghetti tank, a little dressier tank there, silk tank. Then I have a sleeveless blouse and then I have a long sleeve blouse. So there you go in terms of categorizing it. And then these are actually already in their colors. Now, obviously for your wardrobe, you're probably going to have more pieces than just these. I just wanted to grab a few items from my closet to kind of show you guys some of these tips, but you want to make sure you're going to go, if you have multiple white casual short sleeve tops, 
you want to make sure the white goes in front of the colors. You go from light to dark in each section. Another big thing, like I was saying before, make sure all of your items are facing forward. So again, this is just an organization tip to make sure everything looks nice and polished. Make sure any of your clothes that are inside out are right side in and facing forward. Now, these are all things that I've seen in my personal styling clients closets that I've kind of helped them organize. So these are just tips that I'm sharing with you because there's a good chance some of you may have some of the same issues in your closet. So again, another item that's inside out. Again, my items are never inside out, but I have a lot of clients that that's how they would hang their clothes up. So I want to make sure my items are facing forward, right side in, and all the hangers are facing the same way. So there's that little section there. My next section is my outerwear. So I'm going to start with my cardigans. And since I have these three cardigans, I'm going to go light to dark. They're all the same sleeve length. And there we go. And then I have these pieces up. Here's another issue. You don't want to hang more than one item on a hanger because if I want that black blazer and I'm rushing and I have to go to work or I have to go out to meet friends, I don't want to have to throw this off. Where am I going to put this? It doesn't have a hanger. You want each item to have its own hanger. And look, there goes my trusty hanger, that empty hanger that I knew exactly where it was. And I can hang this white blazer on it. So these items again, light to dark. There's my jacket. It's a little heavier. I put it in the back. And there's my outer layers. There we go. And then my next section here is the dresses. And again, I'm going to do, I don't have any casual dresses in here, but if I did like a cotton dress, I put those in the front. And then I have my sleeveless dresses, my long sleeve dress up. Let's face it forward again. And then here I have a cocktail dress. So before this cocktail dress was mixed in with my everyday wear. I don't recommend that for your cocktail dresses. They're not the item that you're going to reach for every day. Now, if your closet is huge, you might just have an area for your evening dresses and that's fine. But in general, I'd recommend putting these behind or in a less accessible area. Most of us have one part of our closet that is less accessible. Put some of these evening dresses that you're not reaching for every day, that you don't have use for every day in those areas. So there are those. The next item along kind of goes along with that is to box your sentimental items. I have no sentimental items hanging in my closet, so I didn't have any to show you, but if you have items that you don't actually wear, something you wore for your wedding or another special event in your life, I always recommend having a sentimental box, one box. Doesn't matter the size, as long as you can fit it somewhere in your closet or under your bed, but only that one box to put your sentimental items. If that sentimental box no longer has room for new pieces, it's time to let some of those older pieces that aren't as sentimental go. And in my last section here, bottoms. So I'm gonna start with my shorts. And again, here we go. There's two on a hanger. So if I want the black shorts and I'm rushing, I don't wanna to have to deal with, oh, they fall off the hanger. So each item should have its own hanger. And again, I'm gonna go light to dark for each item my light shorts to my dark shorts. I don't have any other shorts here. And then another item with two on a hanger. And since I have the jeans in the back, I'm going to put my lightest in the front to my darkest. Oh, and these are backwards. I'm going to flip those around. And so again, they're facing forward. Now, here I have a workout piece. I have a legging that I use for exercising. This should not be in your closet. Instead, I'm gonna put this in my drawer. And this feels so much better. Now that my closet's organized, I can see what I have. I know my casual tops are here, my dressy tops, my long sleeve outerwear, my dresses, and my bottoms. Everything is organized. They're uniform on the same hanger. And it just makes it so much easier to find the items you're looking for in the morning or when you're getting dressed and you know what you have. So these are my nine basic organization tips for your closet to make your life easier. Now, if you really want to get into your closet, if you want to go through your shoes and your bags and other tips like that, I do have a free tip sheet that I created for the 17 easy, simple steps to organize your closet. I will link that down in the description box below. It's a free PDF. It gives you some easy ways to organize your closet, organize your shoes, organize your bags. It also shares all the links for some of my favorite items for your closet, like these wooden hangers, plus some other great storage tips in there. So you can grab that down in the description box.
And if you want to know the 14 items I recommend getting rid of to declutter your closet and clean it out, go ahead and watch my next video here. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed for new videos every Thursday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.